In Montgomery County, Maryland, a Magruder High School student that shot his fellow classmate was sentenced today. DC News Now, Cheyenne Corinne has been following the story for a nearly a year now. And Cheyenne, the student, has already pleaded guilty. He was sentenced to 40 years, but likely won't serve all that time. Hi, Chris. So Stephen Austin Jr. will actually serve 18 years in prison for shooting and nearly killing his Magruder classmate back in January. Now, the victim, DeAndre Thomas, this afternoon was not in court, but his mother gave an emotional impact statement. She shared that her son would ask her if he would survive, and she says at times she had to lie because she just wasn't sure. Now, this happened nearly a year ago on January 21st. Prosecutors say that the then 17 year old student pulled out a gun in the bathroom during a fight and shot the then 15 year old victim in the pelvic area. Police say the teenagers had an ongoing dispute and planned to settle it in the bathroom. Austin Jr. was charged as an adult and pleaded guilty last month to attempted first degree murder. He admitted to shooting Thomas with a ghost gun that he bought online. Now Thomas was on life support for weeks and has undergone 10 surgeries. Austin wrote a statement that was shared by his lawyer who said he was remorseful. However, a video shared in court showed him skipping in the hallway after the shooting. Now this sentencing comes as the Thomas family is suing the county and the school system for negligence in removing school resource officers from buildings. This afternoon we heard from the family's lawyer. I think uh, the defense did a very skillful job of conflating other incidents of bullying that this defendant allegedly underwent. He, he spoke to the police officers about it. He was remorseful at the time that he was evaluated uh, through the Department of Juvenile Services, and I think he demonstrated remorse in his statement. Now, Austin Jr. will serve his time at the Patuxent Youthful Offenders Program. The judge says this sentence was intended to be a balance between punishment and rehabilitation. He also said this sentence goes beyond the courtroom, but speaks to the impact it had on the community. And this was also the first shooting ever to happen within MCPS. State's Attorney John McCarthy says that he hopes this sets a precedent that there's never an excuse to bring a gun on school grounds. Reporting in Rockville, I'm Cheyenne Corrine for DC news now.